Hey everyone, Chris Evans here. Uh, I am going to be reading If You Give a Dog a Donut by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. Uh, I'm going to be reading this for Saved with Stories, uh, which funds a couple great organizations that are helping children right now with uh, education, meal distribution, a lot of great things. So if you guys want to make a $10 donation, you can text the word SAVED to, or the word SAVE to the number 20222. Okay, let's dive in. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask for some more. There won't be any left, so he'll want to make some of his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. And he'll want to play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Of course, he'll also need a bat. And then he's going to ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. And you'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and he'll want to make one himself. You have to get him some sticks, some paper, and string. When the kite's finished, he'll want to fly it. It'll go higher and higher until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he gets some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. The end.